If you're watching this episode, it's because you want to be happy or happier. Stay with us for a surefire way to be happy. I know I'm not much to look at right now. Oh, come on. I'm 51 years old. I'm six foot three and a half, 220 something pounds. But when I was younger, I was six foot three, six foot two, and about 160 pounds. And all I wanted to do was dunk a basketball. Oh, I remember. And at six foot two, you're not expected to be much of a dunker. That's like Jeff wanting to be a dunker. And he's no. what? what I, five, yeah, five, I'm two? like 5'10. <laughs> I'm not Spud Webb. No, so, uh, but that would have been pretty awesome. Oh, that would have been great. But all it took for me to do that was to envision it in my mind. And I literally did this as a kid at that age. I was 15 years old. I could see myself rising up above the rim and putting the ball down with force. And it also took persistence and repetition again and again and again and again. And there's a lot more to it that I won't get into. But at a certain point, at that height and at that age and at that weight, I had done it enough that not only mentally I was able to get up over the rim and throw it down, baby, with Ooh. two hands, reverses, bouncing it off the backboard, off the ground. I was quite the athlete. In fact, I won the slam dunk competition at our high school, and I was competing against the high school players. And you weren't even on the team. No, I was an actor, yeah. like I am here at the Hale Center Theater in Sandy, Utah, a fabulous facility. But my point is, is that not only mentally was I able to overcome the challenge and see myself do it, but by the time I'd done it a thousand times, my legs, physiologically, I had built up the strength, I had built up the ability in my thighs to actually get, I could sky. I mean, I was... He could fly. Fabulous to behold. I'm not going to lie to you. Today's episode... Every time I shove a flog and dance. Yeah, what is that at concerts? She be fly but tie the flog and doob. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think those are the actual words. Yeah, I don't think so either. He believes he can <laughs> soar <laughs> off of the floor. Singing in third person. Yeah. Did he we even believes he can fly. Have we even told them what we're talking about today? So What's the what title? We're, what we're talking about <laughs> is, is never give up. Yes. Never give up. Keep going. Just keep getting up yeah. and keep going. You know, Scott's story was more sports related. Mine is kind of in, in the business world. I remember years ago, remember Word Perfect? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Word Perfect. And I had been there for a while, and then there was an opportunity to get into this part of the, uh, the uh, marketing and advertising. It came down to three people. I was one of the three. Interview was going really, really well. I was doing just awesome. And finally, it got to a point where the interviewer, Jeff Acerson, love you, great guy, local guy here, he said, is there anything more that I should know about you? And I said, I don't know what more I can tell you that would show you that I'm the obvious person for this job. And I kind of, you know, I couldn't believe I said that, but you know what? I had faith in myself, I had confidence, I wasn't gonna give up, and I got the job, I got the promotion. And that has led to so many other cool things so and you, rungs in the ladder, you, you know? You were confident enough that you told him everything that he could possibly know. Yeah. Yeah. And isn't that sufficient? Yeah, I, I did not give up at the end of the interview because I knew that there was something else in there. And I said, you know what? I've got to make sure that everything is out on the table. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go for this with everything that I've got. And I did. It is said that Thomas Edison, depending on which internet site you happen to find, yeah. either failed a thousand times or 2,788 times or into the six and seven thousand times of getting that dumb filament inside of a bulb to actually burn at a viable rate or incandescent length so whatever. that it was actually a sellable uh, product a light bulb thousands and thousands of times and of course you know what is the saying that he said uh, I didn't fail a thousand times yeah I simply found a thousand ways to not do yeah. it right ask. no no, no it was ask what you can do for your country, country not what your country, what can, your country, can, country do. can do for you a thousand times Something. he said it I didn't fail a thousand times it was a thousand step process yeah so my point is, we're not here to talk about optimism so much as we're here to talk about just persistence. Yeah. Sometimes it's just the daily grind of getting up and keeping after it that ultimately leads to happiness, if that's your objective. And I think for most people, even if you're talking about other daily things that they have to get done, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the object and design of our existence, one famous American quoted saying, is happiness. Yeah. So stick with it. Keep at it. Be persistent. Don't give up. Day after day, failure after failure. You j because at the end of the day, even if you die before you actually accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish, which in this case is happiness, and I promise you, you won't die before you're actually happy, mm. you'll still be okay. Yeah. 
You have to go back and kind of close that sentence off. Yeah, it's just kind of hanging there. It was hanging. There. It was like a dangling participle. Yes, yes. But you participled it off very nicely. I just saw a really good movie lately. And Hold this it. Is, this isn't one of the top three, all yeah. right? But it was a perfect example of never giving up. In fact, you know, you could probably guess what it is if I say never give up, never surrender. Oh, that's Galaxy Quest. Yeah, yeah. Just that's a great movie. Such a great, yeah. great and it was movie. written by a Utah, David yeah. Howard. Yeah, yeah. Not that we're in Utah right no, now. No. Uh, we're everywhere. Yeah. We're remoting from Australia right now. No, we're Mate? not anywhere. Oh. We're everywhere. Okay. Omnipresent. Okay. So here's our top three. Let's do our top three. So we, we share lists each time. Yeah. We don't share with each other, but mm -hmm. now we'll finally hear. Yep. Top three, like, go get them, come back, inspiring uh, Rocky uh, type uh, uh, movies. Okay, so you. number three for me was Hoosiers. Oh, yeah. I forgot about it. I mean, it's always in the top 10 sports movies it's out there, right? Always there. Just Gene Hackman at his best. Love and when it. that guy has to go shoot that free throw or take the last shot, and just so many cool moments. In yeah, that yeah, movie. yeah. Uh, similar oh, yeah. to that, then, and from almost a similar, a little few years earlier, Breaking Away. Oh, man. Daniel Stern yeah. and, and uh, what's his name? The Actor Boy. You, uh, you know what I'm saying? John Johnson. John Johnson. <laughs> Actor voice. So, Dennis Quaid. Yes. Dennis Quaid's first movie. Yeah. Uh, awesome uh, bicycling. Yeah. Uh, if you're a biker, you got to watch it. It's, it's a standard look if you're a biker. Look these up. We, we don't share lists with yeah. you to just randomly send them out into the ether. No. We're saying go watch Breaking Away. What yeah. was the one you had? Hoosiers. Uh, so, yeah, I had Hoosiers. And number two for me was Miracle. Yeah. Uh, the, by the way, is look, that one of yours? Number two. Well, good guess. Miracle. All Absolutely. Right. Miracle. Miracle yeah. on ice, right? The Unbelievable. The 1980 U.S. Olympic men's yeah. hockey team. Man. Very inspiring, never give up, never yeah. surrender. Number one? Number one for me, uh, probably, uh, it was made a while ago, but I, I'm surprised at how many people have Wizard not seen. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm surprised at how many people have not seen Cinderella Man. Clockwork Orange. No, Cinderella oh, Man. Cinderella Man. With, uh, you know, Nicholas Gladiator. Cage. No, Gladiator Boy. Russ, uh, Russell M. Crowe? <laughs> Russell M. Nelson? <laughs> no, not him. Russell, Russell Crowe, Crow. yes. Gladiator Man? Had, n n n yeah, he was in Gladiator. Well, what's the name of the movie? Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man. Oh, he's the boxer. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a plays, true story. Uh, yeah, I know. I have seen it. Yeah, it was directed it's, by It's Ron not Hall, like Jack Dempsey. It's 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 another boxer, but yeah, wow, you've no, got to watch this movie. George if you, Jack, Jack, uh, uh, George, George or Jack. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, just, it's funny that you would pick that movie because my number one Rocky type movie is Rocky. Well, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't it be Rocky? Yeah. That movie really started the whole it underdog, did. Yeah. go get him, never quit, yeah. chase a chicken. Do so my number one Rocky type movie is Rocky. Well, yeah. I mean, as if it's too obvious, but I mean, that really did start the whole genre of like, you know, never give up, mm -hmm. never surrender, the underdog. Mm -hmm. That's what it started, yeah. right there. It's right there. It's gotta be. Did you know one. that Sylvester Stallone, half of his face is paralyzed? Well, I don't think we need Hence to. Hence the, looking like talking like this, you know? I mean, come on, Paulie. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Spot on. If you'd like to hear Jeff do impersonations, please We can remember, make that a video. Make an a comment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So our point here is if you want to, this one isn't really a quick upper. Mm. Some of these episodes you talk about are how to get happy quickly. But this one takes a little bit of time if you're persistent, because it's all about persistence. Never give up. Never surrender. Just like Captain Tiberius Q. Underpants. Quagmire. Sure. Of the HMS Pinafore yeah. on Galaxy Quest said, never give up, never surrender. That's right. And that's our mandate to you today. Don't stop. Well, we hope you had fun watching our episode about never giving up, how to be happy by never giving up, right? And if you got a favorite movie or two, like we just talked about, make sure and share it in the comments. Or if also, you have an impression that you want Jeff yeah. to do, because he is the man of a million voices. <laughs> Put it in the comments section. How can I make you happy with impressions? Just don't ever give up.